welcome back to my channel and welcome to another video. So as you can tell by the title of today's video, this is another, let's just say, hair review, hair styling, whatever you want to call it. But alongside it as well, I'm going to be reading your assumptions about me. So I went on Instagram for whatever reason that I decided to do this to myself. I don't even know why. But I went on Instagram and asked you guys to send in your assumptions about me, whatever it is that you assume that I do, that I am, that I behave like, I don't know. All while I go through the process of getting my hair done. So as we're going through the process, I will read some of your assumptions about me. I'm nervous but excited. I haven't looked at any of them just yet. But yeah, I'm a bit I'm a bit worried because some of you guys are really reckless. I mean, it just is what it is. Today's video is in collaboration with the hair company that I'm using today, or even the hair company that have sent me hair, which is ooze.com. I think that's what they, oh no, it's just ooze. You guys not always get these companies' names wrong. I do apologize, okay? This is their packaging. So I got three, I would say three bundles, but then it's split into two. But I essentially got three packets of hair, all 22, um, 20 inches even. And this one is the premium single donor Brazilian virgin Remy hair exclusively at ooze.com. Don't worry, you guys already know. Everything will be in the description box below. I'll put all the information. And of course, I know you're already asking it. I'm going to answer in advance. I do have a discount code for you as well. And that is Nissi10. Again, I'll put that in the description box below so that you can get some money off because you know I already said to you guys 2019 is all about us saving our coins I really really like this packaging and I like the fact that at the bottom they have this bit where they put like the color the length the texture because sometimes when you get the hair it they might say it's a certain length or whatever but then you forget or whatnot so I appreciate that but yeah this is number one they sent me two packets and then this is actually a packet that um, I had already opened so Again, it comes in this like two bundle kind of system and then it feels really, really good. I can't lie to you. Another company that I use, Clayi Hair, I think their hair was amazing. I use it till this day. Other than that, this hair is probably the best hair. In terms of just texture and feel right now, this hair is the best hair that I felt. It feels really, really silky and smooth. And again, they have another tag that explains um, exactly the length, the texture, and the uh, color of the hair as well on there. And then they sent me a closure. Now the closure, the packaging is a little bit different, and it seems that the closure is from Muse and Rose. Now from what I understand of the company is that they actually collaborate together they work together um from what i understand but they sent me 100 virgin remy human hair premium hand tied silk based closure um and it is in 12 inches now obviously you might be thinking 12 inches 20 inches how's that gonna work don't worry you're gonna see the hairstyle i'm gonna do at the end of this video well you would have seen it by the thumbnail okay doesn't matter anyway so this is the um the closure obviously it didn't get frontal this time it's not everyday frontal not everyday stress i just need something i can whip onto my head and this is the packaging you just slide it open and then yeah and it comes like this and then i guess you just cut around it listen you guys know i don't know much about hair but listen i'm getting my hair done today so i'm gonna leave it to the hairstylist <clears throat> he's gonna be able to sort it out because i don't know what the hell's going on here even this this stuff i've never seen that before on a closure but i trust that she knows exactly what she's doing because she's dope i'm really excited about getting my hair done thank you so much to ooze as well who sent me this hair it is oh, I can't lie, this is really buff. Anyway, enough of me rambling. Let's get straight into the video. If I was you, grab a cup of tea, grab some food, biscuits, whatever it is. And yeah, hope that you enjoy the rest of this video. I'll see you guys at the end. Bye. Can you just show them this please? Can you just <laughs> do what you did before and just show them like the length, the... Because this is shrinkage. Let me just... Let's, look, look at my hair. <laughs> God, thank you. Levels, guys, levels. <laughs> We've gotten like halfway with this wig, so I thought this would be the perfect time 
to start reading some of your assumptions there's quite a few so i'm going to try and get through all of them um while i'm still getting my hair did uh but they're actually nicer than i thought they were going to be i'm not going to lie i thought you guys were going to come with some reckless <laughs> crazy stuff but to be fair it really isn't that bad very driven and loving i would say that i am very driven and i'm also very very loving um I'm someone that's so determined in life to just succeed, like as in there is nothing that is going to get my in the way between me and my success. So 100%, I have to stay driven because I have to stay hungry for what I want. Someone else said, not an assumption, but what did you do to lose weight? <laughs> this is what I mean about people, because I really asked you guys to give me assumptions. I will do a whole video. No, in fact, I've done videos on that. Another assumption, you and your sisters are really close. Do you know what? Yes, we are. We really are. Like, I love my sisters to death. They are the biggest blessing. Anyone tries it with my sister? You get beaten up. Boom, boom, okay, boom. wow. Okay, we don't promote violence on this channel. <laughs> <laughs> but, um, nah, my sisters are literally just everything to me. They mean the world. So, 100%. We are very, very close. We're tight knit. And that's how I want it to stay because I feel like. If you can't rely on your immediate family, like your siblings, your mum, like whoever's there, whoever's there, like your mum, your dad, who might be in your in your life, or at least your siblings, who can you really rely on? And I know obviously everyone comes from different situations. Some people don't grow up with their parents. Some people grow up with, you know, um, you know, just their friends around. But there's always those close people that are like your family. Because remember, family's not always blood, you know, because sometimes blood can be a bit you know leave it but just yeah they mean everything basically oh I like this one you have a lot of friends but you only have a few very close friends you are 100% right I was having this discussion the other day with a friend of mine this is like one of my really close friends you guys know her Hayley she's literally like my sister Hayley Melinda and I was just explaining to her like you can have people close to you i.e they know you you speak to them you check up on each other but not everybody needs to be in that space in your life so let's just imagine that there's the outer bit where you have friends you have people that know you people that talk to you and obviously there's the outer outer bit where it's just people that say hi and all that but then there's the inner part that's like the closest part to your heart you should not let everybody and anybody into that space because that's the space that could literally build you up or break you down. And if you have too many people, too many of the wrong people, that's how you end up in stupid situations and you potentially can ruin your life just because you allowed people that are super, super close to you to influence you. So I would 100% say, yeah, not everybody needs to be your close, close friend. I am definitely like that. I know a lot of people have a lot of friends, but very, very, very few people are my close inner, circle friends that know me like know the things that i've experienced in life know the depth me not just nissy t but nissy <laughs> someone says you want to marry asap <clears throat> how did i know this was going to be one of them do you know what's crazy i really don't as in i'm excited to be married like to get married i do want to get married at some point in my life um but it's not like oh my gosh like when is he gonna propose i want him to marry me tomorrow oh my gosh oh my gosh genuinely speaking i'm good like i'm very very i'm a very content person in myself i've got so many plans ambitions and aspirations not that i wouldn't be able to fulfill them alongside ben you guys know like ben is just the most supportive most amazing person ever but i just know that there's a lot that i can enjoy while i'm technically single i didn't date if you're not married you're still single okay not in the sense that i can go and do whatever but you're still technically single because you're still miss on paper so until i'm a missus i know there's a lot <laughs> i am very content on my own there's a lot of stuff that i'm enjoying in my singlehood i don't have that responsibility of like running necessarily running a household yes i help with my household at home but it's a lot of responsibility being married you know you guys just see the, the the wedding and you guys think that's marriage no marriage is the day after the wedding and the day after that and the day after that and the day after that marriage is a lifelong commitment and i don't play with that with me the moment that i say i do that is for life by god's grace for life i i am excited to get married and Literally, Ben proposes to me tomorrow, I'm 100 million percent gonna say yes. So, watch this space. 
Oh, this is so cute. Someone said that you're so peng. Not an assumption, a fact. That's so cute. Thank you so much, you know. Someone said, the whole time I thought you were Nigerian because you have the look. What does that even mean? What does it even mean <laughs> to look Nigerian? Like, I always get it, I get it so much. People always say, oh, you're Nigerian, aren't you? Or just assume, because apparently I come across Nigerian, and I think it's that kind of like full, Nigerians are very like, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. like you get what you want, you work hard, you push through, very warrior. And because people see that in me, they're very like, but you act like a Nigerian, you're very confident. I'm so sorry, honey, but I'm Congolese through and through. Both parents, mom, dad, Congolese, it runs through my blood, okay? And that's who I am. Someone said, confident, education, educated, and classy. Oh, I really, really appreciate that. Um, confident, I'd say yes. Again, I've had to work on that. Educated, I would say yes, because I work damn hard to keep myself educated, okay? And classy, I try to be. I try to stay as classy as possible. Someone else said you're confident as well. Um, I would say I'm pretty confident. I'm still working on it, but I'm definitely, I've built myself up over the past few years to be as confident as possible. I mean, why not? Someone else said that you are a lovely human. So you guys are bare nice. I think I have like really dope, loyal, loving, followers because you guys are really really nice but um i i try to be as lovely as possible people are going through so much someone might look good on the outside they might look beautiful beautifully dressed everything is perfect but they might be experiencing a lot in their you know in their own life and what's going on and and all of that stuff so just be very yeah just be very very aware of how you behave towards people so yes i do try to be oh someone said you are amazing please come to nigeria and plan to organize an online masterclass. oh that's so sweet i would love to go to nigeria one day by the way nigeria hello if you guys want to bring me over i would love to especially to just come and do um sessions now this is something i'm going to let you guys in my hope is that one day i will be able to travel across the world and do like whether it be confidence coaching sessions um power class master class sessions just to work on people's confidence mobility power all of that stuff just to encourage especially young african women um, to step out and to not be afraid of trying different things and building their brands and building their companies and doing what they always knew they could do but maybe because of pressure or because of where they live or because of the culture maybe sometimes you know you could feel like you're in a box so my, my hope is that I can travel all around Africa and just like deliver loads of sessions with people um, and just help where I can in the way that I know best anyway oh someone said you seem tough but you really can be an emotional wreck and let me tell you you are 100% right hunty okay um, I really, I, I am a tough person, like I genuinely am. You can ask Ben because Ben knows I cry a lot. <laughs> I cry a hell of a lot, like he knows me. But that's my way of releasing. After I've cried, I'm like, okay, cool. I can move on. Like after I've had a cry, I can do anything, legit. There's nothing that can stop me after that. But um, yeah, no, I I am, um, I'm definitely a tough person. I've been, I mean, I've grown up in certain situations that I would say I'm not the best. You know, um, growing up in certain areas, you guys know, you hear me talk about it all the time. I love where I'm from, from East London, but you know, it, it, certain areas of it can be very deprived, disadvantaged, Come, coming just from areas where a lot of madness will happen, people being stabbed, people being killed. So you have to be tough because you can't be walking around looking like one Mew Mew, just there like, mm -hmm. nah, you gotta be tough because you you can't allow people to feel like they can mess with you that's just the type of area i grew up in um, and just in life in general like growing up with basically no money um you have to be tough you have to have thick skin you have to be willing to fight for what you want my dad always says you have to fight for your life like you literally have to just fight so i've grown up with that but i can definitely be an emotional wreck like I have moments where I get super overwhelmed and it will be after a few months of working, 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 working and really bad, I'm trying to work on it, but giving myself breaks and allowing myself the space to pause because I'm always like, I have to work, I have to work, I have to work, I have to work, hustle, hustle, hustle. Um, and then I go through these moments of like, literally just emotional breakdown, emotional wreck and then I go back to it again. It's, re it's a bad cycle, I'm gonna try and stop, but yes, I am very, very tough, but I'm also very sensitive and 
feminine and a woman and I go through emotions and listen I have periods okay where sometimes you feel a bit emotional I, I legit have mood swings when I'm on my period that's actually a thing for me so don't judge me I'm a woman it's fine someone else said that you hate your time being wasted lol that's not even lol one million percent so can I say something? yeah go on babe. But who enjoys their time being wasted it's so true who actually enjoys their time? Do you want me to keep that part in? Yeah. Is it okay for me to if, keep your voice you in? Want to, yeah. Fantastic. <laughs> because we like the ad libs anyway. <laughs> Who actually enjoys their time being wasted? No one. No one enjoys their time being wasted. But I especially, oh my God, I no, can't I stand it. Because I have so many things going on in my life that I just don't have time for you to just make. Oh, I hate my time being wasted so much. It actually aggravates my soul. Oh, this is an interesting one. Someone says that um, you have trust issues. I actually don't think so. I think I used to have trust issues, but I really had to deal with those things um, because I went through some relationships that were like, I, I couldn't trust them. I've been, I've been the side piece on so many occasions, guys. Is actually mad so if we're looking at trust issues from a relationship perspective I have been the side piece on so many occasions but I really had to go into a place with myself and with God and just be like do you know what not everyone is like this not everyone is out here to just break my heart because I could have easily become that person that's like I'm never gonna I'm not gonna put any trust in any guy I'm just gonna date them then whatever I could have easily been that person but God really had to deal with me with a lot of stuff I had to really pray about those things um, so in relationships 100% no I 1 million percent trust Ben I don't feel any type of way like I don't he will tell me he's somewhere I believe him he hasn't done anything I think for up uh, like for me I didn't the actions are everything right for anyone in general so he hasn't shown me any reason for me not to trust him so I trust him like I just do it just is what it is and you might think oh you're naive you're dumb no I still understand that human is still human and we're flawed and you know he could do something dumb I could do something dumb god forbid but it's, it's the nature of human beings right he could disappoint me I could disappoint him but because that hasn't happened at least from what I know and I understand I trust him just as much as I know that he trusts me also oh someone said my impression is you can be judgmental when you first meet a person interesting um i definitely wouldn't say judgmental in the sense of like ew who's that person or ugh, why have they come to talk to me or mm, i'm better than you never because i do not believe that anybody listen i've been brought up in a way of you know when people say you treat the the the, the cleaner just as well as you treat the ceo the boss the whatever you treat everyone with dignity because they are they are a human being just like you and you might think that you're up here today but guess what god can humble you real quick you might think oh, i'm the ceo running a five figure cup five figure company you know six figure company and you think yeah i'm at the top i'm at the top of the top and then literally tomorrow all of it is taken away then what and in life we function through relationships if you are that person that everyone knows as you look your nose down at everybody you you're always talking bad about people then guess what that's what you're gonna get back because the day that you need help so sorry boo -boo, but people are gonna look at you like oh so now you need my help when you were talking bad so I've, I was always raised like that don't judge people don't um, try and force what you believe onto other people yes you can have an opinion but it's not up to me to tell you how to or dictate how you live or don't live your life so um, I definitely 100% would say I'm not a judgmental person however I will say this in general as human beings we are we look and we see right we always have a first impression of someone we always come up with stories and ideas because we link things in our brain so I would say that yes I am judgmental in the sense of not in the sense of looking down at people or whatever but in the sense of when I first see you naturally what do I first do I look at you and by looking at you I'm gonna analyze like from maybe your hair to your clothes to whatever and there will be a story or a picture that's formed in my mind that's just the way I mean that's just the way life is everyone if anyone tries to tell you they don't think anything when they first see you they are lying to you because as a human being that's what we do we all make judgment if anyone tries to be like no we don't yes we do but this is actually getting very long so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna read a couple more ah oh, do you know what's so funny somebody else said you don't seem like you judge people 
I do not. I literally, thank you so much because you know me well. As you can see, I am back at home and look at this. <laughs> I literally feel like, you know those women that are, they're like the killers in, in like, let's say a drama or an action movie. They are the most cold, cold hearted. They kill people in the movie. Yeah, I basically feel like that. They always wear wigs like this. This is like the, get out my face, I'm gonna cut you type of wig. And her name is Wilhelmina. Please welcome Wilhelmina to the stage. Wilhelmina has arrived. <laughs> But no, I'm back home. Unfortunately, I couldn't finish recording the rest of this video where I was, but it's okay, because it allowed me to come back and do my little cameo, my little, you know, my little jiggle jiggle, showing you guys how buff this hair is. But nah, I am so, so happy right now. Anyway, do you know what? I know that I had already answered all of the assumptions, but I can't lie to you. There were some extra ones that came through that I was like, nah, I cannot not answer this. So, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna answer a couple more before we go. I need to actually respond to this. So someone said, you kept that wedding prank going on for long because you got a lot of followers and clout. How does that even make any sense? Listen, okay, let me tell you one thing. That prank was literally what it was. It literally was just that. A prank I've seen people that said oh wow you spent so much money just to prank people you're pathetic all of this mad stuff number one I explained it in my other video number one let me tell you something guys okay I did not spend a penny I didn't I didn't spend a penny on that day on anything that was happening I did not spend anything I was asked to come and do a styled shoot they were like oh we're trying to get a male model to come in so that it looks more natural and I was like well Ben model so why don't we bring him in so we both got there and we were like yo this could really even in the lead up as you know we, all the arrangements were being made I started to deep like wait this could really be something this seems like it's a proper 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 thing ie it's gonna look like a wedding so I was like ding 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 oh my gosh this would be such a sick prank I don't think anyone has ever done a prank like that before I don't think anyone on YouTube has done a we got married prank where they didn't just prank the people in the video but they pranked everyone we pranked the internet we pranked everybody and honestly it was just light-hearted it was funny we were just like oh my gosh this would be a good laugh it wasn't all for clap like genuinely guys there are a lot of stuff that I could have done in the years of me being online and trying to build my brand building it from scratch even in moments where things have not gone right even in moments where I felt you know um, I felt discouraged trust me there's a lot of things that I could have done for clout this certainly wasn't one of them and I did not by the way let it run on for long if you actually notice I dropped the video on Sunday I was actually meant to drop the second video to say yeah guys it was just a prank on Tuesday but the reaction was so mad and people were being so like pouring so much over us and we were getting so many calls and messages and da 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 they actually got overwhelmed so literally Ben was like Nissi you need to put out the second video saying that this is a prank today now so I rushed through the process and got everything done Monday and that's why it came out so late on Monday trust me if I really wanted it to be for clout and for more followers I would have left it for like at least a week made everyone think that it was real and then be like just kidding so no I didn't do it for clout or for followers it was literally just good hearted fun okay that's all it was okay I'm gonna go for two more so someone says your real name isn't Nissi my real name is 100% Nissi Nissi's from the Bible and um, it's an Exodus I've forgotten the, the chapter and verse but it's in the book of Exodus in the Bible and it's Jehovah Nissi Jehovah Nissi basically is another name for God so there are loads of names in the Bible for God like Jehovah Shalom which I think is um, like a God of peace then there's Jehovah El Shaddai there's 
there's Jehovah um, Shammah, there's, there's all these different things, or is it Jehovah Shammah that's peace? Anyway, there's all of these different names, Jehovah El Shaddai, right? Jehovah Nissi means the Lord is my banner and the banner essentially is supposed to be like a representation of victory you know Jehovah Nissi a sign of victory because the Lord is my banner and banner sign of victory anyway that's what it basically means but no my name is 100% Nissi um, but in the Bible it's spelled with an I my mum just wanted to switch it up a bit so she put a Y someone said you are the controlling strict big sister now I will admit that I am somewhat controlling just because I really do want want I just want to make sure that my sisters are good because I'm the elder sister and that's a lot of responsibility and my dad always has this term this phrase that he always uses with me he always said you are the head of the train obviously he says it in Lingala but he always says so in Lingala he would say yo ozamu tu ya train so ki yo o what would he say like I don't know how to describe it but it's basically like you're the head of the train if you derail everyone else behind you i.e the carriages that you have behind you will also derail obviously we know that's not always true but you know generally with kids or people that are younger than you they look up to you and they follow the things that you do so it is more likely that if i'm doing stupid things my sisters will feel like okay i can do stupid things so i wouldn't say that I'm controlling, I would just say I am a very loving and passionate big sister who loves her siblings and cares about them enough to try and make sure that they're living a great and decent and valuable and beautiful life. That's what I would call it. Right, I'm gonna do one more because I actually have to go. Someone said, you make a lot of money. Now, if you've watched my video from a few months ago, you will know I went through the hardest hardship, leaving my job, then transitioning into this place where literally, like, you're relying on yourself. You're not relying on a paycheck that comes every single month. So how the hell do I pay for my car? Do I pay for my insurance? Do I pay for my bills? Do I da 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 da, -da? And then I remember a point, literally, a, a few months ago, guys, that's the um, Get Ready With Me, the Super Honest Get Ready With Me, where I was using the um, Too Faced products. And I was explaining to you guys that literally there were days when i couldn't even get on the bus getting on the bus guys in the uk cost one pound fifty i didn't even have one pound fifty one pound fifty is like having one dollar i didn't even have one dollar in my bank account i was crying because one day i drove somewhere and i literally didn't have money to put petrol in my car which by the way so many people have wondered how the hell did i get out of that situation long story short I, ca I called up a friend of mine, like literally my best friend, and I was like to her, I'm, I'm literally stuck, I don't know what to do, please can I borrow some money from you? And she was like, don't worry, I've got you and she helped me out like oh god just knows that my friends and my family are just the most incredible people because they've really supported me through everything through my hard times just oh. anyway i don't want to get emotional so but yeah went through that but guys i can thank god finally say that god is allowing things to finally come together and this is the second month i actually just want to say this as a testimony because i said this as a testimony in church this is the second month where I have made more money from doing all the stuff that I do online than I would have made if I was still at work. The more money has come into my bank account than I would have made in a whole month of work in my office job as a marketing manager. Like to even say that gives me chills because it's like God can literally turn anything around. And one, I'm going to do a video about um, about this, but the importance of giving tithes as in giving your 10% or whatever percentage it is, tithes and offering guys, tithes, let me tell you, tithes, oh, I'm gonna do a whole video about it, but just know that God is so good, he's so amazing, and I feel so blessed. But anyway, enough of me talking, thank you guys so much to every single person who sent in their assumptions about me. There were so many more, I'm so sorry I couldn't get through all of them, um, there's just too many, this video is just going to end up being way too long, but I also want to say a massive thank you as well to Ooze, Ooze, oh my goodness, for sending this amazing hair. Guys, I'm not even trying to be funny, but look how silky it looks. I can't lie to you guys, I, I really think that this hair might end up being top two of hair that I've gotten in, and that actually feels and looks amazing. This hair is silky smooth. No, whatever, like, you guys know I'll tell you guys the truth if it was not feeling all that nice, but 
genuinely I think this might end up being on the top tier of hair that I've received so massive shout out to you thank you so much for sending over this hair I really do appreciate it everything will be linked in the description box below do not worry everything from the hair the lengths all of that jazz my discount codes remember it's Nissi 10 um, and also just anything in general in terms of where to get the hair and also the person that did my hair um, and her you know her details etc everything will be linked below but thank you guys so much for watching hope that you enjoy this video and let me know as well what kind of content you guys want to see from me I'm like in such a good place in terms of filming content and I'm in a really creative space at the moment which is amazing so if you do have any ideas for things that I should be filming let me know but thank you guys so much I love you guys always and of course stay beautiful